This is my caricature of Neil Hannon of the Divine Comedy. Here I am looking for a photo. I'm obviously going to look for one with a beard on it because beard makes things easy. There you go. Yeah, so big, sorrowful eyes, um, weak chin, kind of schoolboy haircut. So here we go, starting with the eyes. Uh, I, the first time I saw the Divine Comedy uh, it was in the 1990s, 1990, They were supporting Radiohead in Galway. And I walked in just as the song Something for the Weekend was playing, which is very catchy. And then they played another song that I liked, uh, The Frog Princess. Both of those songs were kind of unusual to me. I hadn't heard anything like them at the time. They're lyrically kind of quirky. So I bought the album uh, Casanova, based on that, just hearing them that day, which was a very good album. And then uh, the next album they had after that or he had rather, was called A Short Album About Love. And they had a song, and the lyrics were, Don't look a horse in the mouth. Don't let a frog get you down. I was going, frogs again? So I don't know what the hell this thing was about frogs. I don't think anybody's written two songs that mention frogs. Uh, so I'm looking at the caricature here now. I can see it's not quite right at this stage, so I'm kind of foostering around there. The video is speeded up. I'm foostering around trying to figure out what it is. It turned out to be the mouth. Uh, I saw them then uh, years later in Dublin Castle and they did that, uh, they did a parody of that Bono speech. They said, there's been a lot of talk about this song, maybe too much talk. Uh, some people think this is a rebel song. This is not a rebel song. This is My Lovely Horse, which is pretty funny. Uh, here I am uh, going to fix the mouth. It's surprising how small thing can make such a difference. And when I move that lip in like that, okay, now it really does look like him. Weirdly enough, I've made him look a bit like a frog there himself. Uh, I was going to say about uh, My Lovely Horse, he goes, uh, you're a pony no more. I don't think a pony grows into a horse. I think they're different things. He should stick to what he knows, uh, frogs. Uh, so, yeah, that's the sketch. And so then to wrap this up, all I did then was I made a new layer. I traced over that with some stronger lines. Added a bit of colour. Uh, brought in the other layer, which had all those... Uh, eyebrows and beard then the reds and whites pinks and whites rather for the body I just did him in a suit and I made the guitar really big so because he's a slight build kind of a guy uh, so I'm writing a bit of colour to that yeah and then I finished it off with uh, just some background it was a bit better so I think that's a nice illustration thanks for watching and don't let a frog get you down